Question number one. Which organ is primarily responsible for filtering blood and forming urine? A. Bladder B. Ureter C. Kidney and D. Urethra The answer here should be C. The kidney because the kidneys filter waste products from the blood and regulate fluid and electrolyte balance. Question number two. What is the functional unit of the kidney? A. The glomerulus B. The nephron C. The loop of Henle and D. The renal pelvis The answer here should be B. The nephron The nephron is the microscopic unit where filtration, reabsorption and secretion occur to form urine Question number 3 which blood vessel carries blood into the glomerulus? A. Renal vein B. Efferent arterioles C. Afferent arteriole and D. Vasa recta Our answer here should be C. Afferent arteriole and this is because the afferent arterioles are the only blood vessel that supplies the glomerulus for filtration Question number 4. Where is urine stored before it is excreted? A. Kidney B. The ureter C. The urethra and D. The bladder The answer here is simply D. The bladder because the bladder stores urine until voluntary urination occurs. Question number 5. Which hormone increases water reabsorption in the kidneys? A. Aldosterone B. Cortisol C. Antidiuretic hormone and D. Epinephrine The answer should be C. The antidiuretic hormone, the ADH and this is because ADH promotes water reabsorption in the collecting ducts which aids in concentrating the urine. Question number six. The process of returning useful substances from the filtrate back to the blood is called A. Filtration B. Secretion C. Reabsorption and D. Excretion Our answer here should be C. Reabsorption because reabsorption moves water, glucose and ions from the nephron back into the bloodstream. Question number 7. Which part of the nephron is responsible for most of the water and nutrient reabsorption? A. Distal convoluted tubo B. Glomerulus C. Proximal convoluted tubo and D. Collecting ducts. The answer here should be C. The proximal convoluted tubo. And this is because about 65 to 70 percent of the filtrate reabsorption occurs in the proximal convoluted tubo. And this includes water reabsorption, glucose reabsorption, and amino acids reabsorption. Question number 8. Which nitrogenous waste is the most abundant in urine? A. Creatinine B. Ammonia C. Uric Acid and D. Urea Our answer here should be D. Urea because urea, a byproduct of protein metabolism, is the most abundant nitrogenous waste excreted in urine. Question number 9. The tube that carries urine from the bladder to outside of the body is the A. Ureta B. Nephron C. Urethra and D. Renal Pelvis Our answer should be C. Urethra 
because urethra is the final passage for urine to exit the body. Question number 10. Which hormone regulates sodium reabsorption in the kidneys? A. ADH B. Aldosterone C. Parathyroid hormone and D. Insulin Our answer should be B. Aldosterone And because aldosterone increases sodium reabsorption in the distal tubules and the collecting ducts, helping to maintain blood pressure. Question number 11. What is the normal pH range of urine? A. 4.5 to 8.0 B. 6.5 to 7.5 C. 7.35 to 7.45 and D. 5.5 to 6.5 Our answer here should be A which is 4.5 to 8.0 and this is because a normal urine pH can range from acidic to slightly alkaline depending on the diet and the health status of the and the health status of the individual. Question number 12. What is the primary function of the glomerulus? A. Reabsorption of water. B. Filtration of blood. C secretion of ions and D storage of urine our answer here should be B filtration of blood and this is because the glomerulus filters blood plasma to initiate urine formation question number 13 which structure connects the kidney to the bladder a the urethra B the renal artery, C, the ureter, and D, the collecting ducts. Our answer should be C, the ureter. The ureter are actually muscular tubes that carry urine from each kidney to the bladder. Question number 14. Which condition results in failure of the kidneys to adequately filter waste? Our answer here should be C, renal failure. And this is because in renal failure, the kidneys lose their filtering ability, leading to waste buildup in the body. Question number 15. Which part of the nephron responds to ADH to conserve water? Our answer should be D, the collecting ducts. Because ADH acts on the collecting dots to improve water permeability and reabsorption. Question number 16. A high level of protein in the urine may indicate A. Dehydration B. Liver failure C. Kidney damage and D. Urinary tract infection Our answer is C. Kidney damage because the protein in urine often indicates glomerular damage which normally prevents large molecules like proteins from passing through. Question number 17. Which of the following is the most common cause of the urinary tract infections? Our answer should be the Escherichia coli which is E. coli because E. coli which is a bacteria normally formed in the colon, is the most common cause of UTIs. Question number 18. Which of the following is a symptom of cystitis? The answer here should be C. Dysuria. And this is because dysuria, also called painful urination, is a hallmark symptom of bladder inflammation which is also called cystitis. Question number 19. Which test is commonly used to evaluate kidney function? Our answer should be C, the BUN and creatinine test. Question number 20. Which electrolyte is most affected by 
kidney failure a sodium b potassium c calcium and d chloride the answer here should be b potassium and this is because the kidneys prevent and this is because the kidneys regulate potassium levels and the kidney failure can lead to dangerous hypokalamia so there you have it 20 questions on the renal system if you have watched this far please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this until next time see you